became involved in this today, you obviously have some feelings about what, what the issue that we're out here protesting. Would you like to tell us about that, a little bit about that? Yeah, I actually came into um, the, the fight against Monsanto protecting the forests. Um, I've been very into the forests and all the things that live there and what it provides for us. And, uh, and every time I turned around, if it wasn't palm oil or paper taking away my forest, it was mega crops, mainly owned by Monsanto. And where was this? It's happening all over the world. But where were you when you saw it happening to you? India was a big eye-opener for me. I think I'd seen it before then, but when you get to India and you realize how much GMO and how much glyphosate is being used, and how many people are having their farms stolen, it really hits home. And they, a lot of them are committing suicide because they're so poor, they have no way to farm and feed their families. Monsanto and other corrupted companies will put the families in the position where they need to take the seeds, make a deal, put them into debt. It's a deliberate, absolute deliberate equation happening again and again and again. And uh, an Indian's debt, according to Indian law, will be, will be zeroed if they commit suicide. And we've had reported 250,000 cases of such suicide by specifically drinking Roundup, a, a glyphosate-based Agent Orange-like um, uh, pesticide. Uh, drinking it to die. In protest in, of Monsanto's action, a quarter of a million people have been reported drinking Roundup to kill themselves in order to free their family dead. Now, again, I came in the, from this angle of the forests. I, we need to save our forests. Next, we need to stop this kind of corruption and evil that's creating a quarter of a million people drinking Roundup. And then we need to stop them making orga organisms and viruses and little gene packets that are made, designed to embed in our gut and create glyphosate machines out of us. If you look into the GMO uh, situation, there's a number of reasons to come into this. I started with forests. I've worked out uh, there's a huge human problem here. And when it comes down to it, we do not need to be feeding our children a poison that will make them for, uh, pesticide machines. Monsanto's making those packets. With the genes of a fish spliced into the genes of your corn, we've got a problem. We are a GMO changed organism in our own bodies. Absolutely. Yeah. If anybody knows anything about viruses, this is one of the vectors that they use. You put their genes in a virus and all the point of that machine, this little biological machine is, is to inject genes into other cells. I don't need to be a scientist to let you know what happens when that gets inside of you. It multiplies. It gets into your genetic system. It starts changing out tissues for the tissue it wants you to be. A, a glyphosate releasing toxin machine. <laughs> Alex, where were you in India? What place? I was in Tamil Nadu. And uh, right there, they've got, they've got a hell of a problem. It's chemical everything. Can you uh, pronounce it more slowly and tell me if it's in South India, North India, Middle India? It's in the southeast of India. Um, uh, the Tamil people live there. Um, it's not as Hindi as the rest of the place. It holds um, almost a richer culture. I just want to say it's, it's, it's absolutely beautiful place. So, Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu. Okay, how did you happen to be there? I happened to be there on expedition. Uh, there's a place called Oroville down there. It's a uh, city of the sun. It's a, an experiment in human progress and unity. And while traveling through India, I said it must be one of the places we visit. And although that place can be cherished and a little touristy, it's actually maintained itself as an experiment in human progress and unity. It's all organic. It's desalinating their water with solar. It's got wind-powered everything. It's a really, really great place if you want a demonstration of how things are supposed to be. Having said that, the surrounding areas from there to Hyderabad all the way to Kerala, and if anybody uh, knows the name Kerala, you'll know true beauty, true be ge geologic beauty. And they're, they're just massacring it, the whole place. With their chemicals, with their sneaky lies, and their bad deals, and their debt. It's the same as we've seen for centuries. That's, they is Monsanto. They. And not just Monsanto. This is a, this is a really powerful movement that are attacking all angles of corruption and greed and evil. My place in this, for now at least, is taking out this evil Monsanto. Okay, uh, this is a powerful movement. What do you mean? The march against Monsanto? Is that what you mean? Yeah. This is a powerful movement? 
Well, it goes on from this. I mean, we're we're friends with the Occupy movement. We're friends with Code Pink. We're friends with Greenpeace. We're friends with the rest uh, of, of the people who are trying to make change. So honestly, this doesn't come down to one thing. A glyphosate corn made by Monsanto. It comes down to an ethic. Uh, people have lost their hearts using their brains too much to get too much of this and forgetting about all the pain they cause. And the kind of pain I'm talking about isn't like I just punched you. The kind of pain I'm talking about is like I scorched your nation. And we cannot have that anymore. Thanks, Monsanto, but no. Take yourself away and your products too, then. Alex, thank you. Not at all.